Oh my gosh, is that the great Lou David? Yes, it is. I can't believe I'm standing here with you. Oh, I mean, you see me each week when you drop by to have my wife's chicken arm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Still, it's nice to cross paths in the great outdoors for a change. Isn't it a beautiful day? Ah, the sun is shining, the sky is bright. You know, that reminds me. Say you're out walking in the woods. I'm listening. And you get to the very middle of the woods, and the woods are in a square shape that's 10 miles on each side. Which means I am five miles from the middle of each outer side of the woods, and five times the square root of two miles from each outer corner of the woods. Go on. Yes, exactly. Say a fire gets lit at each outer corner of the woods, and the fires all expand into the woods at a rate of one mile per minute. You are paralyzed in fear, and you just stand there. How long will it take for the fires to reach you? Ooh, that sounds very scary. <laughs> Pretty morbid of you to come up with that one, eh, so say? <laughs> well, let's see. We already discovered that I'm standing five times the square root of two miles away from each corner. So that means that at a mile a minute, it will take five times the square root of two minutes for the fire to reach me, which is approximately seven minutes and four seconds. I suppose that was easy enough. Let's back it up a little bit. How long will it take for the fires to cover half of the woods? The woods are uh, 10 mile by 10 mile square, so that's 100 square miles. Now you want the fire to cover 50 of those square miles. Each of the four fires creates an arc that comes around to being a quarter of a circle and they all burn at equal rates. So if you put together those four quarter circles... You get a whole circle. Yes! Arr. We want that circle to have an area of uh, 50 square miles. Now, since the area of a circle is pi r squared, that means r squared should be 50 divided by pi, which is both the amount of miles the fire must spread and also the time in minutes it will take to cover half the woods. So that's approximately 3 minutes and 59 seconds. All right, I got one more for you. At exactly what time will the fires all touch each other and how much of the woods will be covered in flame? Each fire starts out 10 miles apart. And they all travel toward each other at a mile a minute. After one minute, they're eight miles apart. After two minutes each, they are six miles apart. After three minutes, they're four miles apart. Okay, so then after four minutes, they're just two miles apart. And finally, after five minutes, the fires will meet up. And 25 pi square miles will be covered in flame. After that point, it would be much more difficult to tell how much of the woods is on fire because the fires will have overlapped. So you'd need to draw multiple arcs, lots of triangles, and other nonsense. Oh, I was wondering, have you seen that recent documentary, Cropsy? Yes, I did. What about it? Ah, uh, nothing. Now let me ask you a question. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did you ever go to summer camp? You know, I never did. Not too bad. You really missed something. <laughs> math pros, math pros, it's the end of the show. We are letting you go till the next episode. Try to crack the code, keep solving the play. Loosen up, do a couple math problems a day. 